Welcome back. We've got about a month until the gambler, so we got a few things I'd like to take care of here on the taser before uh, we head up to Idaho to go to the Idaho gambler. And then two weeks later, the plan is to try the Utah gambler. Um, I'll show you a couple things that I'm trying to get done. Number one, we need to work out uh, some type of a bumper for the front and the back. So that having been said, we got to decide what's happening here. Right now, I basically just took the old radiator mount and just threw on a couple brackets to hold the radiator in place. And so it's kind of a chopped down version of the factory mount for the radiator. But there's a lot of extra junk everywhere that really doesn't need to be here. This whole radiator mount is just kind of excessive. It's got just too much stuff going on. It's too big. It's too bulky. And it really blocks a lot of the things that I could do with the cage because I need to take and get some type of, of tube that goes from the front and connects up to the firewall. Something similar to what I've got going here. So imagine that line kind of continuing up to the firewall, up to the roll cage there. So I'm trying to kind of make this line, but I can't get started or really get a feel for it until I know where the bumper is. And I can't really start the bumper until I figure out the radiator. So the order of the day today is going to be a lot of probably staring and looking and thinking about what to do with this whole radiator mount. And then a lot of staring here at the front to decide what it should look like. You know, the front of the vehicle is kind of like the face. And so it really makes a big impression on how you think of the vehicle based on how the front of the vehicle looks. If you've seen like uh, the roadkill vet cart, it's pretty hideous in the front. And a lot of them with the round headlights, they just look goofy. They look odd. Um not very well designed. So I'm trying to avoid that if possible. Uh, I need to add a bumper for strength, but also to kind of give the front end some shape. And then as I bring this tubing back here, I'm hoping to get a little bit of space here where I can put some sheet metal to get rid of some of this electrical pile, maybe have something to attach to here. And then it looks like the air cleaner is gonna probably have to go. I'm not sure, I might be able to just either move it up. This is just kind of a rigged up bracket that I had. Um, so I could move it up or I was also thinking I could take this, cut this back and then stick it back on and have it just running forward in the vehicle would work as well. So today is going to be a lot of sitting and staring and thinking. And hopefully by the end of the day, I have a plan for what I'm going to do with this radiator and then we'll kind of work out from there. Okay. So much staring and thinking later, this is what we've come up with. Basically what I did was take uh, just a board, run it across, threw some screws in it to uh, kind of hold the radiator in place of where it needed to be. Um, then came over to the old radiator support and cut off these mounts here. So you can see the bottom of the the bottom of the radiator, maybe see. The bottom of the radiator has these plastic pieces that go down. They slide into these mounts. So cut those off of either side of this. You can kind of see this whole assembly that was in there before. Um, so cut off each side. And then basically what I did was just take and weld in this bar. I had everything kind of mocked up where I wanted it to land and then just weld in this cross brace. And then the idea is on the back side, I'll be able to get this exactly where I want it and then weld it to this cross tube here. Um, and then the radiator should sit inside of this rubber mount. And you can see, I took off these upper supports that I had, um, so it's kind of leaning back now, but, the idea will be similar to how I have um, have it attached here to this wood. Whenever the cage or whenever the bar comes up and over, either for the bumper or for the grill guard or 
or the cage that goes you know back to the firewall there'll be a tab that comes off that you can then you know bolt through and hold up the top part of the radiator and i could then you know rake it back like this or i could you know run it straight up and down that'll give me a little bit of flexibility depending on where my tab where i weld my tabs onto the uh, cage so now i'm going to work on just kind of cleaning up this cross brace and then we'll get these mounts welded on and make sure the bushings still fit and then we'll get to work on the front of the design all right lower radiator mount is done this is what we got got the down tube coming down each side and then the rubber bushing into the old mounts on both sides for now I went ahead and just reused my old heavy duty brackets here I think those actually were out of the inside of the fender if I remember right they like held the fender out or something anyways yeah pretty firm it's got just a little bit of flex in it from having those rubber bushings at the bottom so I think that'll be about perfect uh, now you can see these old radiator mounts here are pretty far out so I'm gonna take those off and trim this back as much as I can and think I'll end up cutting it maybe around there and then build the bumper mount off that. I feel like from the side, um, the, the further you can bring it back, the better I think the proportions are for the front end. So that's gonna be the next step. Go in, cut these mounts back, chop through the frame, and then get my mounts set up from a bumper. frame side of the bumper mount is done we've got everything welded up I, I found these four inch uh, square plates at the steel supply place this morning when I went to get some more tubing and uh, they were a little bit short on the on the height wise um, but width wise they were perfect so I just added a little plate at the bottom just to kind of cover up the frame and then I've got uh, two more of the plates so basically the way this works this is all welded on solid on the frame now um, come back in I'll bolt this on I've got uh, four bolts for each side bolt this on nice and tight and then we'll come back from there and a piece of, of inch and three-quarter tubing will just get welded to that piece to kind of bring it out like this and then it'll be notched and that will connect to the top and the main bumper bar. So I think that's probably going to be about it for me today. We got a pretty full schedule of stuff going on, getting ready to go camping again this weekend. Uh, but uh, when we get back, what we'll do is get those bolted on and get those uh, little stubs welded and in place. And then we'll actually be ready to put the bumper on. So that's exciting. Stubs installed. We got the bumper bar going across. I put a couple bends on either side of it 
uh, just to, I didn't really like the way it looked as just a plain straight bar. So just added just a little bit of curve to each end. You can see those stub pieces I was talking about here, the bolts where that bolts on. So my next step is to, now that this is all tacked up, pull it off, finish weld uh, around the mounting plate, finish weld around um, each of these mounting points and then we'll put it back on and then from there uh, we'll start working on bending the next piece which is going to come up and over kind of the push bar. Okay, after a lot of staring and deliberation and debate, push bar is tacked into place. It's got a little bit of a lean forward, which I thought made it look pretty aggressive. Next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and finish weld that and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. So last night after I got the bumper all welded up, I started looking at things and realized that I was making a big mistake. I, I made these bumpers uh, to bolt on so you could just pull them off. But as I was trying to figure out the headlight mount, I was planning on welding to the front here to the push bar and then back to the exo cage and then hanging the lights from that uh, piece of tubing. Well, I realized that this bolt then becomes completely useless so if i dent up the bumper i can't take it off because now i've completely attached you know the rest of the cage and welded the cage onto the bumper so it completely defeated the purpose of bolting it in the first place so after some thought last night and some redesign i think what we're going to do instead is just expand out the bumper this piece here is just kind of running wild but expand out the bumper Put the headlights in the bumper area like the big brush guard and then when we come back to do this portion of the cage um, we'll probably tie in you know to the frame there and then back to the exo cage so we've got two separate shapes so this is what i've got tucked into place right now it's just kind of an aggressive headlight mount brush guard that will protect the headlights and also just kind of finish off the look of the front end right now it looks kind of like that uh bad boy clothing logo if you're you know back in the 90s if you remember that but this will this piece of the eyebrow will get trimmed off um, but that's kind of the look i think i want so i'm going to come back now and finish weld this one in chop off the eyebrow to kind of finish off the that side and then i get the fun task of trying to duplicate that same shape and direction and angle on this other side so fortunately it only has to be gambler spec so that takes off some of the pressure of getting it perfect but we'll get this finish welded and then we'll start working on that second side Okay, second side all finished. I'll show you what we got. So I tried really hard to make everything symmetrical. Took my time as much as possible. The welds on the second side definitely showed how much more tired I was than I was this morning. Uh, but overall, I think it came out pretty decent. 
So the next thing I've got to work out is just the light mounts. So I'll build some little tabs so we can drop the headlights down. And then once we've got the tabs on, uh, I'll pull the bumper off, clean it up, and get it painted and ready to install. All right, we got all the light mounts trimmed up. We got all the end caps put on, took it off, grind everything down. And here's what we got for a final result. I think it came out pretty good. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, wipe this down with some mineral spirits and then I'll take it out and spray paint it. And then we'll be ready to slap it back on the taser and install the lights. Paint's dry, lights installed, and the bumper is finished. This is the final result. I really like the way it came out. Very aggressive. I think it still fits with uh, the vehicle. Lights came out pretty good. Not crazy about having the bolt stick up on the top, but you know it is what it is those are the lights i had and uh hanging them from the top i think makes it look much much meaner than would than it would if we uh put them up from the bottom but that's it so bumpers finished it's all bolted on and then next time we'll be working on mounts so we got to mount this cooler and then redo this upper radiator mount here and all that will be connected to the front piece of the cage which will go from this piece of exo cage and up into this frame and that'll give us a place for this siren horn as well as some of this wiring and relays that we have completely you know electrical taped and zip tied but for now that does it for the bumper and that'll do it for this episode thanks for watching